Pido at the other end, who's hardly touched the ball. That was Batista forward, looking for Maradona. He might get in the gap. He's so quick. Baldano's coming in from the far side. This could be the ball. Baldano! Maradona carved the opening. Baldano, by his standards, that will be a bad miss. And uh, he's looking to perhaps line something up. And that was Maradona. Goodness me. Came back off the bar, I think. Here he is again. Maradona producing a stunning moment from the free kick. Curled, swerved and driven. And it crashed against the bar. It's been taken quickly. Bruchaga. And Ruggeri! The number 19 was up for the set play. And from Bruchaga's cross, he heads over the bar. Bruchaga going down the right wing. Pereira's with him. Justi, Maradona, still Maradona, <laughs> Batista, and Bruchaga, two in the middle, Baldano, couldn't get it, Pasculi, 1-0 Argentina, Pedro Pasculi, three minutes before half-time, Argentina in the lead, and when the chance came, Pasculi put it away from about eight yards. Brought back into the side today in preference to Borghi, and he makes his mark. It actually came to him off a defender last, Acevedo, I think. But chances like that in the World Cup are snapped up by top-class strikers, and Pasculi wasn't messing about. Argentina 1, Uruguay 0. Gutierrez. Well, Cabrera and Francescoli trying to find a way. And Cabrera coming in behind Francescoli. And that was possibly the best chance for Uruguay. The number 21, Cabrera, had the shot, although Francescoli was the man who unsettled the defence. Way through. And Argentino able to break with Justi and now with Maradona. Oh, he hurdled the defender, Acevedo. And Pascual is trying to get into the centre, and Maradona has gone all the way, and Pascual couldn't make contact. What a run by Maradona. And Pascual couldn't quite get there. Maradona beat everybody, including the goalkeeper, who he pushed the ball beyond. This is Francesca Lee. And he does try one, and Pompido dropped it. They couldn't quite get uh, Santini on the rebound quickly enough, otherwise it could well have been the equaliser. Had to use the men in front of him. Finds Maradona. Oh, lovely touch. And he's got Pasculi away on the left wing. Still Maradona. There's Pasculi. Argentina had the advantage. Pasculi comes clear. Bruchard and Mas surely off the line. He should have scored. He should have put it away, really, Bruchaga. But the defender on the line gets the ball out and keeps Uruguay in the match. I think it may have been Acevedo. Yes, number three, it was. Threatened to score the second goal. This is Batista. And now it's Justi. What to think if Italy progress a little farther and get near the final themselves? Bruchaga through to Maradona. He's clear and he's onside. Maradona for Argentina. Good save by Alves. Keeps his team in the match. Bossio. And here's Maradona. And he's going on a run himself. Oh, and he's found Baldano. This could be two against one Argentina. Baldano's through. And Maradona's closing in to finish it. No, foot up. Foot up, no goal. And two Argentines go to the referee and say why. But it's been wiped out for either a push 
or an unfair challenge. To... But we haven't had the benefit of a replay to decide where... Oh, we have now, here we go. Valdano puts the ball in off the keeper's hand. And yes, Maradona's foot caught the defender and the referee penalised him. And Maradona again, they've got two runners this time. Number seven, Bruchaga. In the middle, Valdano and Pasculi. Bruchaga's cross. Valdano coming in. Actually, that got a deflection because the referee I haven't got this match won yet by a long way. Uruguay making a fight of it in the best sense of the word. Here's Paz driving for the far post. Well, that nearly got them back in the game. Sabina deserves to win this match. They have been the better side, they've created more chances. Kuchifo's made a mistake. Great save, Neri Pompidou from De Silva. And he's down there on the rebound from Francescoli. Now then, the referee's in there again, sorting them all out. Quite extraordinary scenes here. And there's been a bit of pushing and fighting, and one of the Uruguayans is in trouble. The, the linesman's gone in to separate them. It presented the shooting opportunity, as you'll see here. That was his error. Da Silva, Pompidou makes the save, and Francescoli comes in to try and pick up the rebound and collides with the goalkeeper. But linesman and referee have had quite a lot to sort out there. And Enzo Francescoli, who, don't forget, is on a yellow card, is the man at the centre of the storm. And I... As it was. Still pass, and they've got the ball out to Maradona. And he's got the ball clear to Piccolo Pasculi. And Pasculi's through against the goalkeeper, and he made it look so obvious. He showed him which way he was going to go. And Argentina have lost. Oh, and there's a bit of punch in the face. Pasculi has punched the goalkeeper in the face behind the referee's back. It wasn't seen. As they both got up off the ground, Pasculi struck the goalkeeper. And he was very fortunate that that wasn't spotted. He would have been sent off without a doubt. And still, the stoppage time ticks by. Maradona tries to win the ball again. And again. And he's going down the line, Diego Maradona. Well, the referee has played two minutes overtime to try and compensate for the stoppages, and we've had drama all the way here in Puebla. Argentina still lead Uruguay by a goal to nil, and I think it's over. Yes, it is. Argentina are through to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. They've won one nil, Jimmy, in quite extraordinary conditions. Well, quite unforgettable. We've seen everything. <laughs> we've seen brilliant football, we've seen loss of tempo, we've seen superb refereeing, really. I, I don't know many referees that would have coped with all the things that happened in that match. <laughs>